In the UK, immigration has been a highly debated topic for the past 25 years, with various governments emphasizing the importance of mass migration to the country's economy. I arrived in the UK as a 14-year-old in 2004 with my mother, who was a political refugee from Iran. So yeah, this is the area I grew up in. This is actually the area that I ended up when I first came into the UK. Lee Green in Lewisham, South East London. This was the first place also I experienced when it comes to Britain and what Britain looks like, which is quite interesting. Obviously, for those who know, my mother was a political refugee. She was saved by the British Embassy. Uh, when she came here afterwards, I was able to join her because I was under 18. This area was extremely diverse even back then. But for me, there was still one common culture. And I think this area, obviously, over the years, has actually, well, gentrification has happened. We actually have more white middle class families or young professional families. But in fact, crime has actually gone up, which is kind of fascinating. Uh, we have more gangs and you can actually see the division inside the different cultures and different tribes, which we didn't have before, even though it was already extremely diverse, but everybody was more British, everybody was more united uh, back then. And um, this is the problem we're currently facing, obviously, when it comes to certain parts of the UK. The media has claimed that mass migration has always been a part of British life. However, the reality is that in 1951, less than 4% of the population was foreign born. This proportion doubled to 8% in 2001 and by 2016 it had nearly doubled again to 15%. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where I grew up and uh, it's actually slightly changed. Uh, these were the council flats where they built in the 50s when they were just in a rush to build and it actually looked even uglier than that. But the interesting thing about um, growing up here when I came here was actually because usually speaking when other cultures and other people from different countries come into developed world nations and um, there's a culture shock which they usually look up. They're like, oh, this is impressive. And what I noticed even back then about 20, 25 years ago that there were still local people here, British people, you know, white and black, who were complaining even back then that this is the worst country, uh, we are in southeast London, we could never get anywhere, this is the end of the world for us. And my mother and I were just looking and thinking, really? What we are seeing is a lot of opportunities. What we are seeing is you could go wherever you want. Doesn't matter where you come from. The major turning point occurred when the new Labour government implemented policy changes after its landslide victory in May 1997. Over 13 years, net migration had caused the non-British population to swell to over 3 million. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short clip from our uh, first original and exclusive documentary on 2CTV Plus called The Britain's Multiculturalism Myth. It's good, isn't it? If you want to watch the rest of it in full, uh, please go on 2C.tv or check out the link in the description. Become a member on 2CTV Plus. It's the only way you could also help us remain independent. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go sell out to some corporation or big financial backer. Uh, if you want to support us uh, and, of course, watch the whole thing and get access to all the other premium shows, we're going to have more documentaries, more uh, political series and everything else coming up as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya 2C and we are the media.